every minute on the minute sequence, we are going to be either using a riser or not using a riser. I'll show you how to go about these two exercises, uh, whichever option you choose. So exercise number one is going to be toe taps. So with a riser, or sorry, shoulder taps, I have my feet out nice and wide, head is up, and I'm tapping at the shoulder. One, two, three, four, five. Alternating back and forth, trying to prevent my hips from rotating side to side. Once I'm done all of my shoulder taps, I'm doing knee drives on the riser. With my knee drives, I want to have my toes, knees, hips all in alignment. We have two options. We can add a hop or no hop. Totally up to you. So no hop. It's one, two, three. Making sure I fully extend this leg that's on the riser coming down or it's one, two, three with that little hop just like so option to do it without a riser from here i can have my feet wide and i'm tapping the same i can also perform from my knees tapping side to side again you want to make sure the biggest thing with this exercise is your hips aren't wiggling side to side as you do your taps and then with no riser you got your knee drives one two three or you're hopping one two three just like so what's going to happen you're going to start a timer perform all of your alternating shoulder taps then perform all of your knee drives on one side all of your knee drives on the other side once you are done your reps whatever time you have left for in that minute you rest and then as soon as the next minute starts you repeat the sequence every minute on the minute for the amount of rounds prescribed